What's up guys, my name is Sarah Elizabeth and on this channel we talk about how to make money with gig apps. Today I have seven tips that will help make your Amazon blocks easier. Whether you're doing Amazon Flex or Fresh or Amazon Prime or all of them, I have some tips that will help you out. I talk about Amazon frequently on this channel so please subscribe for more Amazon videos. My first tip would be to get a basket or a cart or even an Ikea bag will help. Some stops will have heavy waters, multiple bags. Some may have a long walk through the buildings. You want to make as less trips as possible. When you are done with an Amazon Fresh block, if you finish it too early, the app will then prompt you to start navigating back to the warehouse to pick up another block. You do not have to do this. You are not obligated to do this and there will be no strike against your account if you choose not to go back. I have done this many times. I'm usually done with my two hour fresh blocks in about an hour or an hour and a half. And if there is 30 minutes left in your block, the app will start to navigate you back to the warehouse to pick up another order. There is no ding against your account if you choose not to go back. And it's telling us to go back to the warehouse. It's, it's 11. So that took us one hour to do. When you're scrolling through the orders and looking for a good pay per hour order, you want to already have in your mind what's a good ratio. So figure out your minimum pay per hour you want to accept and try to be picky when it comes to picking up blocks. That brings me to my next app that works with your Amazon account called Solo. They show a minimum amount per hour and if you make less than that, they will pay you the difference. It's called Guaranteed Earnings. I've been using Solo for about five months now and I see the most payouts with Amazon Flex and Fresh as opposed to DoorDash and Uber Eats. By using the link below, you'll automatically start your account out with $10 by linking your Gig App and your PayPal or Venmo, whichever way you want them to pay you. Delivery placement is pretty important because this can impact your driver rating. You can get a bad rating if you put a package in the wrong spot or out in the open. So they want you to put the package hidden from passer buyers that are walking by because you know some of them have wandering eyes and sticky fingers. And also you want to keep the package away from the elements like if it starts raining obviously you don't want the package to get wet. But you also want it easy to find for the customer. Usually when you go up to the door, there's like, like a plant or a chair or something you can like stick it behind. And that brings me to customer instructions. Don't ignore customer instructions. These notes can say things like leave at the back door of my business or hide from husband. If you have any unique or crazy customer instructions, please leave them down below for us. Never, ever, 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 ever leave a package inside of a customer's mailbox. It is a federal offense for anyone to open someone else's mailbox. And even if it's in their customer notes, to leave it in their mailbox, you are not allowed to. So in that case, you could either contact the customer, you could leave it up at their door, or if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you could call support and ask them what to do. I will link my whole Amazon playlist down below. Maybe you could find another video that will help you out. If you found this video helpful or entertaining while you watch, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.